So what, what we're looking at basically is one of our most successful structures that we've built. Um, it looks like a bump on the ground and it is just literally a bump, a bund. And one of the, uh, one of the you know, I was saying earlier about talking to landowners, talking to farmers and communities about, about you know, how to build things and where we should build it. And we decided to build something here because when we talked to Martin, who farms this land, um, he told us that in 2007, he was sort of stood up to his thighs in a river flowing through here. And when we looked on some of the mapping, some of the, the surface water flood maps, it, it did show that this place has a, a propensity to, to water spreads out as it comes down through the, the gully behind us off the fields and it spreads out here. So it seemed to be a good place that we could attenuate water. And of course, that means you've got to work from end to end from the valley. So the valley is about 40 meters wide here. And in order to attenuate the water, you've got to create something that's end to end to keep it all behind. What we've ended up with is this um, bund. So it's about a 30 centimeter high bump in the field and it's formed from taking all the topsoil, taking the turf and remoulding and reshaping the clay underneath. And we built this in a day. It's not online, so it doesn't need to be built like a flood defence. Um, it only takes water under stormy conditions, so it only ever fills with water when we know we might have problems lower down the valley. So in that sense, it only ever works in the time when we need it to work. Um, and it attenuates probably five or 600 cubic metres of water. And we've got another one further up. And the job of the other one is effectively to let the silt fall out of the water first before it gets to here. So we've got a silt trap, and we've got this bund, and then further above the silt trap, we've got a whole series of woody debris stuffed into drainage gullies. So gullies that are feeding surface water coming from the pastures above on the Cotswold Plateau. And water's being encouraged to infiltrate, we're slowing it down, we're taking the energy out. So we've got a whole series of, uh, of measures here and interventions, all designed to effectively remove all the water from this section of the valley from the flood peak traveling downstream. People often ask, why didn't we build it closer to the gate? Why didn't we build it higher? And this is what we mean by compromise. You know, talking with Martin, the farmer, if we built it by the gate, the gate would get muddy, the area that he needs access to would muddy up, and that's got its own problems as well. The trough over there, uh, the cattle and the sheep come into the trough, so it was good for them to be able to access the trough without having to paddle through water and without paddling on top of the, the bund. And we could have built the bund higher, but Marty still needs to work this field. So we built it so that he can drive over in his uh, vehicles, in his tractor. It's barely noticeable. We've got a public footpath just over there. And all in all, if we'd have made it bigger, we'd have increased the risk of failure, we'd have increased the cost, and we'd have increased the maintenance required as well. Because if we'd have made it bigger, as water spilled over the back of this, it would have caused erosion. So we could have stored more water it would have been more costly, more risky. So it's a compromise solution and it works really well.